White flies, identification, control, and prevention. Identification and damage. White flies at their adult stage are quite small, only 1 16th, 1 10th inch long. They can easily be identified by their powdery white wings and generally yellow body. White flies feed on the sap of plants, inserting their sharp, needle-like beak and sucking juice-rich in nutrients. White flies then excrete a sugary honeydew-like liquid, making plants sticky to the touch. This liquid could grow a black sooty mold, furthering damaged crops. Additionally, white flies vector over 100 diseases. Control and prevention. It is best to prepare for white flies before they infiltrate the greenhouse. Having a strong IPM plan is important as things can get out of hand fast. Use screening and greenhouse netting. It may help prevent white flies from entering the greenhouse. Sticky traps and carts can help identify if white flies are present. There are a few options for biological control that are commercially available. Carcia formosa and Eranmoceros eramicus are parasitic wasps that lay eggs inside of white fly nymphs. Encarcia formosa provide best control for greenhouse white flies, while Encarcia eramicus provide better control for Bermesia white flies. There is also a predatory beetle called Delphastus catalinae that consumes eggs and nymphs. Chemical controls are available, insecticidal soap is a great option, neem oil and petroleum-based oils can suffocate white flies. A popular, stronger chemical control option is imidacloprid, which is a non-organic systemic insecticide which attacks the central nervous system.